What's going on y'all, Buttery Workshop back with another episode and today we're going to the Brimfield Antique Market. Yeah, I think so, I think it's market. This is one of the biggest antique shows or markets in America. Every year they have over 6,000 vendors so walking over there right now and we're gonna try and find some hidden gems for the low. So let's go find them. We're just now getting here and look this is just the beginning, but. Oh, really? Over 6,000 vendors. What are you looking for? I'm looking for some cocktail cups for sure. I'm always looking for fun cups. I'm looking for some shelving. I'm looking for a dining table, some art. I have an open mind, so I'm excited. This is the fashion tent, so I'm assuming this is where a lot of the clothing vendors are going to be, so right off our alley let's see what we can find check it out got this vintage ben and jerry's t-shirt from the 90s here for 49 bucks there's also this grateful dead tee grateful dead has some of the illest graphics and i haven't listened to much of their music to be honest i'm not a deadhead but just look at these graphics these are insane it's here for 84 bucks Look at this vintage kids Patagonia fleece. I actually have this exact fleece and see him has the same exact one so definitely got to pick this up for when the time comes that we have a little one. It's here for 30 bucks. Let's check out these vintage Converse running shoes. You can tell they've got that real age on them. And for some reason they still look like you could wear them. Here, seven bucks. So, get this vintage EMS sling bag. Good sun bleach colors. Here for 38 bucks. Check this out. Also, got this vintage Michael Jordan jersey for the youth them spinning around. Only 15 bucks. Big deals to be had at Brimfield. We're just getting started. Let's keep going. We better not get copyright strike for the song, but check out this Yves Saint Laurent coat that CM found. What's the price on it? Let's see. It's a good price. 250 bucks. We're at a booth now with a gang of jerseys. Vintage, vintage sports t-shirts. This old Ted Williams thinks he 10 bucks? Awesome. So. All these tees are 10. All right, perfect. Is it 30% off these two? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got this vintage yeah. Atlanta Braves t-shirt, 10 bucks. I saw the 10, yeah, just checking it out. Gonna keep on looking though. Um, then, Gonna keep on looking. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Old inter. Instagram is this might be a rough thing, I don't lie, but kind of cool. Look, a bunch of vintage soccer kits though. Rugby jerseys, basketball jerseys, football jerseys. got a bunch of stuff here so I'm gonna keep on looking here Carlos Beltran good stitching on there New York Islanders jersey um, it's going up prices again we're at an anti market so a lot of these prices aren't negotiable you find a bunch of stuff you go up to the guy and say hey could you do this on this or do you have on that and everything's negotiable you know what I'm saying so, we're going to keep on looking here, though. Washington Capitals. And it's signed. There's no price tags, though. That's the only thing. There's no price tag. So, you got to ask. And the more you have, the better deal you could cut. Yeah, that's a good rugby kit. Look at that. Argentina. This is sick. Jeez, these all over print tees. God. Oh, this, this one's my favorite. The Agassi. Woo! That's a banger. Damn. Banger and a half. Oh, look at this one too. Yeah. This one came from Japan. 
Oh, Atari? The original Atari swing Jeez, stick. Jeez, the price on this one here. <laughs> it's crazy. 500, wow. It's insane though, right? Yeah, that's sick. The Nike stuff hits though, like, all the vintage Nike stuff is Oh, crazy. yeah. They need to bring the Agassiz back. Yeah, I actually, you know what's funny is I bought a pair of the Agassiz sneakers yeah. back in the day, like from um, like an Ebelin store in downtown Crossing Boston. On sale? Bought, yeah, like 50 <laughs> bucks, now they're like 550. Yep. Guys, check this out. The Woo Wear leather on. Come on. <laughs> Super buttery. Very buttery. And the Come on. The this, is, this is literally <laughs> verses of the, I've watched this verses 20 times. Yeah. My wife is familiar with it now. Yeah, that's some of my shit. This is yours right here? Yeah, that one's crazy. That's Star Wars. Liquid blue? Yeah. Yeah, what size? Large. But it's these, crazy. this this actually looks like a large though too. Yeah. Because I feel like all the, all the vintage Star Wars tees, especially liquid blue ones, Every time I find them online, the measurements never line up with the mm. size that's actually on there. It's a good one. What do you have on this? I'm not think, a large, brother, yeah, but I think it goes <laughs> out of like curiosity. 200, I'm at like 150. Okay, yeah. No, this graphic is so fire. I like so to leave fire. it in the room in case someone wants to make some bread. You know? Yeah. No, this is super fire. This one's dead stock, which is its Ooh, own case. Ooh, yeah. Too bad they couldn't hold up their half of the bargain last night. Jeez, you know? that's what I heard. That's what <laughs> I heard. Check it out, guys. Got this Kristen Pulisic. Borussia Dortmund kit. We'd like to see the American succeed abroad. We're in a booth now with a bunch of, well, I guess a tent with a bunch of home goods. Check out these vintage Sears boots. They just don't make them like this anymore. They're here for 95 bucks. And I feel like these have already lived a lifetime, but they've got several more lifetimes inside of them. Got this sort of repurposed military ruck bag. What's the price on it? This is 95 bucks. Yeah, this is sick though. Especially if you're out here shopping, pack it up with all your stuff. We're at a booth now with a bunch of reworked pieces, as you can see. Really cool. Nice, nice ideas. Check out these. These are 250. Coveralls here. Ooh, these are so sick. Super hard. Here for two fifty. Dang, I can't find the price tag, but it's very here hard. for two fifty. Super hard. I love this. I've always wanted to do a piece with a bunch of different patches. It might be just the Ralph Lauren polo aesthetic that's always in my brain and always on my radar but check these out the colors on some of these patches are just outstanding like this would look so hard on a vest or a bag check this out it's playmate of the year 1998 fashion doll can you open this for me babes it's a really cool here for 50 bucks all right, so no, we gotta keep this, gotta keep this PG-13. Had a bit of a random booth here, but got this vintage Nike windbreaker. So true vintage with that tag there. Here for 45 bucks. This booth has a little astronaut spacesuit and a clan uniform. Crazy. I should burn that shit right now, but. A little respect. A little Whoa. respect. Should I kick something over? Let me know. All right. All right, guys. We've been here for a little while, and it is just so overwhelming with the number of vendors that there are and all the different types of stuff they have, from home goods to antiques to clothing to you name it, they got it here. So, grabbing a bite to eat right now. We're at this little food truck. Got some smash burgers. And we're going to continue on this voyage and keep on trying to find some hidden gems below. But in the meantime, make sure you subscribe and drop a like for your boy. Let's get it. See him got the fresh squeeze. Lemonada. Ooh. Thank you, thank you. We got our grub, some hand sanitizer. We're sitting in front of somebody's house because it is completely packed. You guys, I don't know if you guys can tell from this footage, but it is swamped in here. And this is only the second or third day the antique fair is going on apparently the weekend is when they get the largest crowd but let's get a review let's get a review mm. pretty good fries 
I like a steak fry, but no steak fry. Shoe lace fry? I don't know what they're called. Shoe shake. But it's good. Out of 10. Seven. Okay. It's the big moment of truth. The this lemonade is a, is a three out of 10. Hydrating, but yeah. This is a, um, supposed to be a buffalo chicken sandwich, but I understand where you are. And so I'm gonna judge it based off of that. Hot as hell. I can see it steaming. Five out of 10? Damn, that's trash. Hopefully my burger's a little better. Smash burger, looks legit. Mm, seven and a half, maybe even an eight. Check it out, y'all. Got this Dream Team Olympic tee. Here for 50 bucks. <laughs> it's cool. Cool Fiji tee. Also 50 bucks. But this is a real gem right here. Ralph Lauren Country Lobster Clasp. Ooh. Love these lobster clasp jackets. I've got one in wax blue canvas. This is large out here for 200 bucks. Little play on Ben Davis, Ben Drunk. I'm wearing the Ben Davis right now. It's really cool though, here for 75 bucks. Check out this early 1900s Moynat trunk. Moynat, Moynat was founded around the same time as Louis Vuitton and they actually had the monogram canvas goods before Louis Vuitton. I don't know, hit a Wikipedia, but check it out. They're for 1400 bucks. Also, that is beautiful. Love that for the crib, but a rack. Check it out, guys, with this Filson wax canvas chore jacket. XL here for 145. Yeah, like, smells smells <laughs> Vintage polo work jacket. Look at these cool metal class on there. I always love when polo and Ralph Lauren does those unique little class. Here for 225. Also got this Armani jeans chore jacket. Navy blue. 95 bucks. I've never seen Armani do anything like this. Super cool though. Got this cool shelf of LL Bean boots, some hiking boots. This whole, this whole little shelf right here is just Northeast outdoor vibes. Hey. Snow White and her little dwarfs, babe. What? Are you one of the dwarfs? I forgot. What? You have to pop, dude. No. <laughs> She's one of your dwarfs now. Is dwarfs problematic? I don't know. If so, my bad, y'all. We're in a booth with a bunch of cowboy boots, mostly for women. I like these for see him. With the little flower design. She's got a pair that she's about to try on there. <laughs> With the snake skin on there. Yee -hoo. Yee -hoo. Are they not actual skin? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Those are icy. 200 bucks, what do you think? I think they're fire. I think they're right, but it's not that. I don't think they're right. way too far. Is that your sign? Yeah. I'm just trying to see if this will go over. Alright guys, we're in a booth with a bunch of clothes right now and even some designer pieces, but check this out. Did you guys have a belt buckle like this? I have distinct memories going to New York in the early 2000s and getting one of those for myself. And especially for me, my name's Nubian. It's so hard to find things on my name, so anytime I had the ability to customize something, I was on. Some Oscar de la Renta looking like... A costume. They've got this Montclair puffer jacket. Originally $1,900. At least it retails for $1,900. Here for $949. What's the size? See it big and red with that 
purple Montclair patch on the sleeve. I believe this is a size large. Try that on. Also got some Gucci loafers down there, Gucci sneakers, Golden Goose sneakers. All for a couple hundred bucks, personally. Not the deal that we're looking for, but they are here if that's up your alley. Look at this. They even got a pair of Gucci slides for the Ute them. They're labeled as women's shoes, but I don't know. Any woman that could fit these. Here cute. for 85 bucks. See him about to bend these shades. She's feeling okay. herself. If you want to feel yourself, you need a pair of these. Period. They are prescription though, so. She about to go blind. She about to go blind. Uh, I'm just a little dizzy. Look at this vintage Tommy Hilfiger zip up windbreaker. Definitely from the 90s though. Pretty cool. With no price tag. So, you guys know the drill? You have eyes like me? Dang, You're I can't go everywhere with you. You need to get it together. You guys, check these out. Vintage Nike track shoes. Woo. What year are these from? I wish we had some way to identify them. These are super sick. Just picked up these two Patagonia fleeces for Seaham, the new Patagonia Princess. Talk 25 bucks each, which is a great deal. And she's gonna be nice and cozy as soon as it gets colder again. But we're heading into summer, so as we head into summer, keep your eyes peeled for fleeces and sweaters and jackets. I'll probably pick up some good deals. Check out this vintage knitted sweater here for 200 bucks but these are the kind of pieces that inspire ralph lauren pieces and double rl well double rl is ralph lauren but polo ralph lauren and double rl pieces this is where the inspiration lies and this is where ralph lauren designers are probably going and finding pieces to put on their vision board and double rl we were just talking about double rl see how that works it's put into the universe and it pops up on you. These are 36 waist, 125. It's a little steep, but it's probably some good Japanese denim. So, especially compared to the retail price, it's not a bad deal. Hey, what did you ask? Is this the Proud Family? Isn't that home? You asked me if this is the Proud Family. No, that looks like Dijonet, not Dijon. Is that, yeah, it's Dijonet, but it's bad on there. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Definitely had a blast at the Brimfield Antique Fair. There are so many vendors here. As I mentioned, there are over 6,000. My legs are starting to hurt just from all the walking around we did. Uh, there's no way you could visit all the vendors in one day, let alone a few hours. So if you are coming here, definitely plan to spend your entire day here or even a few days here if you want to hit up all the vendors. But definitely happy with my pickups and all the hidden gems we were able to find. Shout out to Billy, a subscriber who saw me and said, what's up? If you see me out, definitely say something. I definitely want to connect with you guys. And as always, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you saw anything that you would have cop. Let me know if you saw anything that you absolutely would not have cop. Let me know if you saw anything in the background that I should have paid more attention to. And if you like these kind of videos, definitely make sure you subscribe. I'm going to keep them coming. And yeah, we're just getting started. So I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.